Hey guys, uh, so here we are in our work in progress studio. Work in progress because you Heavily. are nicely lit. I know, I but there's a lot of shadows going on. We still have a lot lit. of things to work on. I do, I do look like I'm a little more tanned. Well, you are. I have my, my, my summer glow on now. Not the important thing. The important <laughs> thing is that it is What's Up Wednesday. What's Up Wednesday. What's up? Um, so what is up with us? Uh, we are still on break. Nothing. Which Nothing's is fantastic. up. fantastic. I haven't left Eric the house in Eric hasn't gotten out week. of PJs in two days. It's been wonderful. Um, no, actually, we've been playing a lot of games. A lot of games, which is fantastic because that means that we're actually, you know, doing... Do you see all those games behind us? We gotta play those We didn't play all those games, though. No, but we have been playing... Charterstone! Emma's new favorite I'm game! I'm obsessed, guys. I know that I said in the video the other day that it was one of my favorite games of the year. It is also probably gonna be one of my favorite games of 2018 because I'm having so much fun playing it. Pump your brakes. Pump your brakes. It is what? We're three days no, into no, the new year? It's only the second while we're filming this. Okay. We played yesterday. We're nothing into the new year. We're on game number three. Absolutely nothing. There are so many games coming out. That is very true. And a lot that I'm very excited about. But that is not what we're talking about today. We are talking about Charterstone. Um, well, we're talking about a lot of things. <laughs> I'm really excited about Charterstone, though. I would play it every day. We're on game four. We just finished game three. We, we finished are, game three or finished game four? We finished game three. I know. So. It's we, really good. It, it, nine it's, more games to go. So, obviously, you know it's a legacy game, so there's no spoiler. I'm not saying a spoiler. But game three felt complete, well, not completely, felt significantly different from game one. Eric wrapped up points like a boss. There is a lot of hand-holding that goes along with this game, yeah. which I appreciate. I really appreciate. In the instructions when you start it up, it says, hey, you can read this, delve right into the game, right. or you can watch you can watch a Watch It Played by Rodney Smith, who is a fantastic board game tutor? Everything. Trainer? Something? Teacher. Teacher? Long story, well, quick side note. Years ago, I did, we did a board game playthrough of Hive. And Rodney, and Rodney said it was wrote on in Board Game Geek saying it's one of the best. He loved it, and so nice. he was not as good when he first started out. Now then he's we, amazing, and, and we, we have like, okay. <laughs> not the point. Not the point. Anyway, so Charterstone has been taking up a lot of our time, but the other game that's been taking up a lot of our time. Do you want to talk about your new favorite video game? Overwatch. No. No. But well, you can talk about Overwatch. I know. Let, let's talk about. Let's talk about our new our new obsession, and then you can talk about Overwatch because I know you do want to talk about. I do want to. Well, okay. So new obsession game, PC game, mm -hmm. is Divinity. 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 Original. Original Sin. Sin Dos. Holy cow! I know we talked about it before. I think we might have mentioned it before. Maybe. But it is the perfect blend of an RPG game. And D and D. You mean a RPG game, like a video game, video game, and D and D. Correct. So, having not played Neverwinter Nights, which I know is the penultimate D and D game, not anymore. This is not a D and D game. These are they're not. Well, it's, mm, it's not. Eh. It's not licensed by sure. Wizards of the Coast. Sure, not you're licensed. Not, you're not using the spells or the things in the core rule set gotcha. for Dungeons and Dragons. However, it is an RPG game that is completely ripping off, stealing, borrowing, lovingly using because everything in it is an homage to Dungeons and Dragons. Everything. Yes. I mean, you can freely move around, but when you're in it, So it's 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 like that alien game. You know what I'm talking about? No. It's turn-based tactical game. I can't think of the name of it right now. Part two recently came out in 2017. I don't know anything about video games. Gotcha. But it is a turn-based game, and I, I blah, can't remember it. Um, where the aliens come down, you have to fight them, blah, blah, blah. I have no idea. It has, it's turn-based like that, and it is great. So it's like an open, pretty, it's a pretty open world-esque sort of situation you can walk around it's what you kept saying that the map was way bigger than you thought it was. I thought yeah it was way bigger than I thought it was 
um, this one little area that we're at. But I think what makes the game great, the fighting is fantastic, but there is so much that you can just role tinker play with, and role mess play. With and... you, our characters interact with each other, yeah. which, is which is really cool. at odd times. Like they'll strike up a conversation. But what I mean is there's so much experimenting that goes on. If there if you're fighting an enemy, yeah. you can freeze the ground that they're on, which then they're more prone to slipping. Mm -hmm. I can throw an oil jar at them. And then light them on fire. And light it up. It, it is... It's really cool. Now, once again, it's not groundbreaking. So, there are other games that have done this, but this game is doing it extremely yeah. well. And a, a bunch of people have actually said, I know there have been other video game reviews um, saying that this was one of the top games in 2017. I didn't know about it because I don't know anything about video games, but when Eric found it on Steam, because it's a Steam game, it was in the Steam Winter Sale, he was like, let's give it a try. I was like, okay. It is so much cooperative fun. We've it really hooked is. up the, Split screen co-op. It's, it's a split screen co-op. We're playing with um, Xbox 360 controllers. Xbox One controllers. Xbox controllers. There is a Xbox controllers. Um, and we're playing split, split screen. It's fan. Fantastic. And the controllers work really well. But here's the thing, even though we are working cooperatively, it is known as a competitive game. Yeah, if I we could to attack each other. Him, well, I can't fireball because I'm a rogue, but if I wanted to stab him in she the could. back, I totally she could. She can rob from me. So there was this great video if you if you look for it on YouTube where it describes the things you can do. You can play it solo. You can play it cooperative split screen. You can play it cooperative online up to four people. Mm -hmm. It is and the best part about this game is that they have taken the Game Master into consideration and you can actually make your own game with this game. And if I wanted to, I could go in and I could make an entire world. Wait, has somebody that you have... Matthew Mercer did oh, a live stream Matthew of him Mercer. playing with a bunch of other people where he was GMing a game of Divinity Original Sin 2. Um, he created a story to text. He, yeah, he built it out using their custom GM, like, creator. Uh, and they played through it. I will say that I only probably watched 15 minutes of it. No, but it was it was entertaining. It was entertaining, it, yeah. And, like, you build in flavor text. You can have your characters interact with people. You make them roll dice if you want them to roll dice. Now, there's no dice rolling in the actual game that we've come to so far. But you, there, we don't roll dice. Mm -hmm. But the computer generates it because there were times where you did... Oh, I, I critted. I critted on one of my attacks this afternoon. But you also, awesome. did you do persuasion? Or what did you do? Your persuasion, that has to do with your ability skills. It doesn't have to do with roles. My persuasion, I had up to one, I know, No, but you did something. Levels. Remember, you, you said, oh, I'm going to try this to try and get someone to... Yes, but I, I did finesse because I... Finesse but it does a of, finesse check. So instead of... Instead of Strength, dexterity, constitution, intelligence, wisdom, charisma. Instead, it, it's it uses strength, finesse. Sure, uh, but I so, mean there so is rolling I, behind the scenes in the game. Yeah, they're using algorithms to figure it out. But so I'm a finesse character because I am a rogue. So I knew that taking the finesse tactic when interacting with a player was probably going to work out because I'm a finesse character and I have a lot of points sunk into finesse. Whereas if I had gone strength, that wouldn't have gone well. Right. Not so much. It's a great game. We really like it. There was a point where <clears throat> somebody we were fighting was on fire and they were standing on ice that was placed there by one of them. I then shot a fire at them. They were on fire, but it melted the ice, which created mist, which then put them out. Yep. That is how that works. It's so amazing. So, let's talk about the other video game you're excited about today. You had it some very exciting quickly, news. Very quickly, very quickly. Play Overwatch. It has been eight seasons, which is... Uh, I think this was season seven. This was season eight. Oh. And today, I have finally reached gold. It's taking a very long time. Very long time. I, it's There were good people to play with yeah. this time. And... I wasn't just playing against people who were like, I'm just going to do nothing but support really heroes or DPS heroes. I'm really proud of you. It went well. I'm in gold. I will quickly fall out of gold in no time. But it felt good to finally get that. Yeah, it was really awesome. Um, so I think, what else do we have today? Uh, I want to give everybody a 
quick tour of our little... Oh! It's a work in progress. Work in so, progress. For the record, this has been two days where I didn't work on it today that much, but the two days before that, I have been busting my butt trying to get this room together. It is really hard. Yeah. <laughs> we have so much stuff when it comes to the number of games, organizing the Warhammer stuff, organizing all the crafting supplies. I've been trying to consolidate. And Finding all the pins we that we own. We found this many pins, guys. I didn't know we had these many pins. That's a lot of pins. Yeah, it's these a lot of pins. These are just the ones that we found while we were cleaning. So there's been a lot of purging. There's been a lot of cleaning. There's been a lot of consolidating. There's been a lot of organizing. All I'm pretty sure a lot happy. of the purging was of my stuff that I don't Actually, know it's been gone true. yet. We'll find out. That's not true. Mostly it was like trash. Um, but yeah, so I want to give you guys a quick, please don't mind the mess, uh, tour of our space. So let's get started. All right, guys. So this is the board game wall and junk on the floor. But this is 95% of the board games that we have. There's still a couple that are living in the other room. But I'm really happy that I got everything to fit-ish. Some of it actually ended up spilling over because we got some new games this Christmas and they didn't have a home yet. So they were the ones that got left out until the end. That's okay. Um, these are our like crafting situation. Um, actually, do you wanna come and look and see how crazy this is? So here is some of the custom inserts that I've made. These are figures that I've painted for D&D, &D, which is pretty sweet. Um, then I have a drawer that is all of the D&D &D sort of work in progress stuff that's going on. And then we get into Warhammer. So here is a bunch of Space Marines, again, with custom inserts that I made out of foam core to try to help organize them. And for the first time ever, Eric's Citadel paints are organized-ish, ish, relative. Uh, in addition, paints being organized, I officially have used these lovely stands that Eric got ordered in from where? Germany? Britain? Somewhere it took like forever for them to come in. They came from Europe, I'm pretty sure. Um, the rest of these drawers are still in progress being organized. I mean, my sewing drawers and things like that had been organized for a while. Um, I also have consolidated the craft card that we had before and put things of Eric's in here so that these drawers are now organized and he can find the things that he needs to use on a regular basis. Um, as you can see, we've also set up the 3D printer and we are officially printing terrain again. I have stuff prepped for, uh, or I'm working on prepping stuff for D&D because that is coming up soon. Um, if you ignore the mess behind me, don't look, it doesn't exist. The closet still needs to be done, but Eric's computer set up, that was like first on the list because Eric plays a lot of video games. A lot of video games. So yes, yeah, so this was a pretty fast setup for that. And then, as you guys can see, this is a big blank wall that will eventually get filled up with really awesome art and miniatures and figurines and lots of things, but it's a big wall. It's a lot of space. Um, and then, finally, over here, this is the bookcase of Warhammer. So I finally have put all of Eric's Warhammer in one place so that it is available to him at the drop of a hat and he doesn't have to go searching for it. And then at the bottom, we have some comic books, uh, some of our comic book collection. So, and then the game table. As you can see, if Eric wants to back up, you can see how big this space is in comparison to our old space. This table looks tiny in this space in comparison. I could put both leaves in this table and we could still fit people around it. Um, so there's still a lot of mess to clean up, but we're really happy with how it's turned out and how everything's going. And I could not be happier that we made the switch. I just wish that we had done it sooner. So I think that's gonna be it today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.